Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you are watching this video. Uh, hopefully the glare from my window back there, I hope, you know, I have it closed and it still glares. I don't know. Um, so I'm here today to talk a little bit about and do a really quick workshop. I'm not going to go over, I don't know, I hope I don't go over 10 minutes here uh, on profile pieces. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably in the middle of, or in the beginning of stages of, uh, doing your profile piece for journalism 101. If you're watching this, um, because I may have mentioned it uh, as part of a, uh, as part of some help for your uh, writing on the newspaper, then you know this is still very pertinent. I feel to whatever you decide to do when it comes to your um, your pieces. So um, I'm going to go over a couple of quick things here. Uh, the the book has really great details. When you're in J101, the book has really great ideas and things to focus on. I was going to break it down into like really short kind of points here. So um, you've already done, hopefully, you've already done the interview with your subject. If you're in J101, it's a fellow classmate. If you're on the newspaper, you are definitely talking to somebody uh, either important or somebody that is uh, focused on doing something on campus. Uh, the first thing that I, I want to make sure that you do, that you, that you understand is interview, the interview process is very important. You need to ask the, you need to ask the best questions you can uh, to get the most information out of somebody. Um, you don't typically have hours to do this, so uh, you can pre-write some questions. Um, I've done that before, uh, or you can kind of think on the spot. It depends on what you're hoping to get out of the actual profile piece and interview session. Um, one thing I want to make sure that I get very clear on is make sure you contact any secondary sources uh, as, me as immediately as you can. Um, if it's for J101, you're probably going to be talking to a fellow a student or a friend or a family member, or, or maybe even a boss at work, make sure you contact them. It's super important to get that secondary source. If you can do more than one, amazing. We don't have, we don't ever have one source for a story. Two is the bare minimum. Uh, I would say three is what you should typically look for. That's, I mean, that's a personal thing. I look for always, try to always find three pieces or points of view on, 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 on a story. Sometimes there isn't, there's some, just, there's just two, but try your best to look for them. Um, if you're doing a piece for the paper, uh, you know, please look for at least two or, or try three. Uh, if you need help with that, contact some of uh, the um, senior staff on ideas on who they can, who you can speak to. Um, that's always really helpful. Um, another thing I want to make sure I, I kind of put out there is uh, now that you know that you've done the interview, you have a bunch of information, you probably are thinking like, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, <clears throat> let me first say two things. One. Make sure you make sure to exclude uh, unnecessary information, stuff that doesn't make sense to add into an article. Get rid of it, dump it. Uh, I'm not saying destroy the information. I'm just saying don't use it for this spe specific article. Uh, and you want to make sure you include any important uh, stats in your article that would be pertinent to your uh, to your piece. In this profile piece for J101, for example. Uh, we know that the student is an ELAC student. You wouldn't be writing this piece on this student unless it was. Um, please uh, omit that. Do not uh, omit unnecessary information. Like I said, anything that is unnecessary, things that we can pretty much understand and know, get rid of that. Don't use that in the article itself. But include important stuff. You know, maybe maybe uh, you know uh, important stuff is is age. Maybe where they were born. Um, you know, where they went to high school, especially in in J one hundred one. You know, when it comes to the paper. Uh, if you're interviewing a fellow student or if you're interviewing a uh, a administrator or a professor, you know, it changes, right? It changes in between there. Uh, a profile piece may be focused on something that they did that was super important or something that, that was um, uh, just, you know, a uh, a new policy that was just passed on, on campus. If it's a student, maybe their major is really important to what to what their uh, what, what this uh, piece is going to be on. So remember, try to try to think uh, what is uh, the most pertinent information for your article. Um, okay, so let's get into a little bit of the nitty gritty stuff here. Uh, first, before you put pen to paper, I would say make sure to detail check. Make sure you've got all, all the notes correctly. Ask questions about, ask follow-up questions just to clarify things. This is super important. You know, you don't want to write stuff that doesn't make sense or is incorrect. If you have uh, a contact info for them, email them and say, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I got this information correct. Uh, can you please uh, verify that I, I wrote this down correctly, uh, this date, this piece of information, this number, anything like that. And this goes for both J101 and the newspaper. 
Uh, when it comes to quotes, I am of the mind that, that that's why we have, you know, that little app on our phones to record our interviews. I would say if they're comfortable with it, record it. Because you never know when you want to pull a quote and you're like, oh, I don't remember what they said. Um, now, if you're not, if you're kind of more uh, traditional and which is great and amazing, taking notes, which is awesome. By the way, if you're recording an interview, you should also take notes. This is it's important to do both. If you wrote something down and you don't have any backup audio, um, just email them. Say, hey, man, you know what? Or, or I miss, uh, you know, or, or professor or hey, uh, buddy, um, I, I, I wrote this down and I feel like I feel like there was really good quote here. And this is kind of what I got. Would you like to clarify the quote? Would you like to specify what you want to say in this quote a little bit better so that I get the right and proper piece uh, to write here? Uh, keep it balanced. Okay, that's very important. Uh, you know, you don't want to, there's no need to glamorize the individual. Don't, you know, put them up on a pedestal kind of deal. Um, I mean, don't, you know, don't make it into, you know, a, um, you, you know, a smear campaign if you don't like them or you don't like what they do. Keep it balanced. That's what, that's what journalism is all about. This goes, these are kind of things that go for both J101 and uh, and for writing things on the news, in the newspaper part. Um, the main thing that you need to do here is, is, is focus on a, on uh, on a main idea or a piece of information that you want to be in your, basically your lead. Okay, this is very important. With profiles, it can be difficult sometimes, I think, trying to decide what the lead can be or what the main focus of the article is going to be. Um, your book says to, to focus, to, to create this focus or this this, this piece uh, in, in the nut graph. I think if you work at writing the lead correctly, you can maybe work some of it into the lead and then explain, further explain, uh, uh, what it is that you want to talk about in the actual, uh, in the actual um, nut graph as well. Uh, so that's like two sentences of information, you know, um, with a, with a fellow student for J101, this, uh, again, this doesn't mean that, oh, this is a student who goes to ELAC and they're a journalism major. These are stuff that kind of, we already understand. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe your, um, maybe your subject, uh, uh, you know, has a, uh, a part-time job and, uh, and it's one of the reasons w uh, why, um, this subject or this individual has decided to maybe uh, go into journalism. They find that this part-time job gives them a sense of, of, of not only advocacy for themselves or others, but maybe it gives them a sense of, uh, of you know, of wanting to communicate information. Maybe that's why they did that. Or, you know, maybe they're, um, maybe maybe one of the things could be that maybe they, uh, they this student or this fellow uh, uh, student is dedicated to helping their family uh, they're taking journalism, yeah, but they're dedicated to, to helping their family, and that gives them a drive to be a better person. Maybe the or maybe your article is just talking about this person and how they're how they strive to do better in their lives, and better other people in lives, uh, in their lives. Um, not every article is going to be focused on why this person or why your fellow student it wants to be a journalist uh, or wants to take journalism as their major. Um, like I said, it could just be about their personality, about what who they are, about what makes them. Uh, uh, interesting. That's the idea. The idea is that this this piece should be interesting and make a person say, you know what? If I talk to this, to this subject or this individual, I, I you know I would love to pick their brain about more about this. You know, I want to pick their brain more about their part time job, about their family situation, about their uh, you know about a um, an interesting moment they had in their past that kind of uh, you know really made or, or or created a new version of what they wanted to do with their life. Um, in journalism uh, for, for, the, for the paper, you know, if we're writing a profile on somebody at times, you know, it may be focused on one specific thing. Did they just win an award? Uh, did they just get a grant for something? Um, are they an administrator that's been on, on campus for 20 years, 10 years, 30 years? You know, uh, are they a brand new president coming in? Uh, are they a brand new head of, the, head of a, 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 pardon me, a department head? Are they a new dean? These are things that we can always uh, uh, make sure that are focused on and and become part of your lead and your part of your nut graph. Um, so profiles and features are, are similar, not the same, but they're similar in ways. Um, you can kind of have a little more leeway on how you write these. You don't have to write just fact, 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 fact. You have to have facts, but you don't have to just state facts. You can kind of give it a little bit of more of a soul. Uh, not that journalism doesn't have soul and news doesn't have soul. It does because it does give you information. It does provide you with um, 
a map as to what you want to either uh, know or what you didn't know and now you do. Um, but a feature is a little more fun to play with so you can have that in your kind of your holster and kind of, you know, add a little more entertainment to it. I mean, don't make it an entertainment piece, but use the facts to make it something personal for someone, you know? This is one of those moments where we can actually kind of connect with our reader. So, you know, make it something that was worth connecting with. Um, you know, I think even despite the fact that I think this is a, this is still, a, you know, kind of a different than most news stories, I think using the funnel, and I hope you guys remember the funnel, you know, was top biggest piece of information down to the little big, bitty, bitty, bit, little bitty pieces of info. Um, take into account that, again, that big piece of information is probably going to be in your lead, it's probably going to be part of your nut graph, and really work on that. And uh, everything else will kind of fall to the wayside as, as you go from there. Uh, you know, pieces of information that are, again, unnecessary can go away. Um, and so, yeah, so these are the basic ideas, some of the basic things that you want to really look for. I don't want to make this too long of a workshop. Uh, it's, 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 it's something that I think is interesting and you may need more guidance with. If you do have, uh, if you do necessitate more guidance, please uh, contact me um, using Canvas or uh, if you have, uh, if you're on the newspaper, use Slack. Uh, just contact me and we can go over some things and some ideas that we, you may want to throw out there. And yeah, so good luck on your assignments. Contact those, those secondary sources ASAP. Uh, you know, if you have, a, if you're on break or if you have a couple of days in between when you need to turn in your first draft and, and so on, that's when you do it. If you're lucky and you're, and the assignment came on a Thursday, you have entire weekend. Contact those secondary sources, get, get to them as soon as you can. Um, just, uh, just do your best. That's, that's, that's all we can really ask for as well. Just do your best writing. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and I will see you all soon.